transition to the NBA, and let's talk about the NBA All-Star Game. The NBA All-Star Game was last night in Salt Lake City. And this is actually my question of the night for the show. I'm going to Wise Guys Twitter page and vote. Did you enjoy the NBA All-Star Game? 25% says no. I'm sorry. 25% says yes. 75% says no. So most people did not enjoy the NBA All-Star Game. Team Giannis beat Team LeBron 184 to 175. And for Team Giannis, this was Giannis's first time beating LeBron in the NBA All-Star game. Team LeBron beat Giannis in the first two years of this, this, this experiment now where they pick these teams and so forth. And Jason Tatum, he had 55 points on 22 of 31 shooting, shot 10 of 18 from three-point range, 10 rebounds, 6 assists. He was named the All-Star Game MVP. And Denver Nuggets head coach Michael Malone, he has some interesting comments after the game. Take a listen. Oh, it's an honor to be here. It's an honor to be a part of a, a great weekend, great players, but that is the worst basketball game ever played. How do you fix it? Uh, I don't know if you can fix it. You know, it's an honor to be here. It's an honor. That was Denver Nuggets head coach Michael Malone in the immediate aftermath of the NBA All-Star Weekend. So, when you ask the question, did you enjoy the All-Star game? My emphatic answer is a no. And one of the reasons why I believe the NBA All-Star game has been bad and was definitely bad this year is because I believe that in the media, and I'm a part of this, I, 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 I'm in the media, so I have to also get some of this blame. I believe the media and fans, we have made it to where players only prioritize winning NBA championships. In the NBA, players look at it like, why would I play on a back-to-back? -back? Why would I even care about an all-star game when you're only going to judge me for how I perform in the post season. You switch to the NFL. NFL players don't care about the NFL Pro Bowl. Now, the NFL is different than the NBA because the NFL is a physical sport. So you're more likely to get injured in the NFL compared to in the NBA. NBA, you can play, pick up basketball at the YMCA, at camps for kids, and NBA players won't get injured. So I, I definitely understand why the NFL players could care less about the NFL Pro Bowl. But even in the NFL, we don't care about what players do in a regular season, especially when it comes to quarterbacks. I'm going to say with quarterbacks specifically, we care about what quarterbacks do in the postseason. That's what they're judged on. How do you perform in the playoffs? Now, I do believe that in the NFL, there's more of a of a significance and importance in the regular season compared to the NBA. I think in the NBA, these players, they plan back-to-backs. You know, it's 82 games. I, I think that in the NBA, guys just kind of be like, man, I, I really could care less about the regular season. I, I feel like guys, that's why you see teams who aren't very good in the NBA, especially this year, it's teams who aren't very good. They're competing with the top teams in an Eastern Conference and a Western Conference. It's nice where I see the Celtics. I see the Nuggets. They're struggling with subpar or below average basketball teams. And I think in the NBA, when, when guys get hot, in the way the way the three-point shot is significant now in the NBA, when guys get hot, team on the, players on the other team, they feel like, he hot, he hitting shots. We got 82 of these games, 
and we got to we got to get through all these games and get to the playoffs. So if a guy's hot and he hitting shots, I don't think players have that much of an emphasis to try to slow down that opposing team's player who's shooting at a high level. And you can shoot your way to a win. Let a player get hot in the first or second quarter of a basketball game, and his team goes up 10 or 15 points. The team, even if they are better than the team with the hot shooter, they may lose that game because they got 82 of these games. NFL, you only got you got 17. So all these games are important to you being able to make the playoffs in the NFL. But, again, when it comes to why the NBA All-Star Game and the NFL Pro Bowl both are boring and not as entertaining, I believe the biggest reason why is because we have put a significant emphasis on how you finish. How do you perform in the playoffs? So players, they don't give a damn about the NBA All-Star Game. Players, they don't give a damn about playing on the second night of a back-to-back. They could care less about that because us as fans and in the media, we have prioritized and judged these players on how they finish at the end of the season and how they perform in the playoffs. That's the main reason why. I believe that's the biggest reason why we see the All-Star game not being entertaining and it being pretty much a layup line. 94% of the points that were scored last night were scored on dunks, layups, or three-point shots. So players are not d up. And then, again, now it's a perimeter, it's a shooting lead. So last night we saw in the third quarter, Jason Tatum and Damian Lillard, they got hot, and Tatum hit 10 of 18 from three-point range. So I agree with Michael Malone about the All-Star game being the worst basketball game ever played last night. I literally was watching the game thinking, like, what the hell was going on? I remember back in the day where Jordan and Kobe, Allen Iverson, Shaq, they were competing in the NBA All-Star game, at least in the fourth quarter. In the first three quarters of the game, it would, it would be a pickup game. Not much defense was being played, but in the fourth quarter, they would buckle down, and I love seeing it. I love seeing it. Like, and then you saw last night, there was a a moment where Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, they got a chance to play one-on-one, but it wasn't really, they weren't taking it serious. They were just out there going through the motions, going through the motions. So uh, I don't know what the answer is for Adam Silver in the NBA to make the NBA All-Star game better. Because I think it's just way too many games in the NBA season. We better get into the second half of the season, and players are going to play in more games. And, you know, they're trying to position themselves for seeding. So players are not going to sit out and low manage in the second half of the season as much as they did in the first half of the season. But that's the biggest reason why I believe the NBA All Star game has struggled for sure. But um, the slam dunk contest was terrible. I, I, I know my guy, the, the one, I can't even think of his name. The one guy won the slam dunk contest, but it was terrible. I, I wasn't really entertained. I, I don't even care about the slam dunk contest anymore. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just bad, man. It's, just, it's pathetic. I'm trying to think of this guy's name, man. I, and I, I hate he, Mac, McC- Mac McC- McClung. He won the. NBA slam dunk competition this year. But I I wasn't entertained. And I remember back in the day, the NBA slam dunk competition was about the stars. That's what it was about. Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady, Dominique Wilkins, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, God rest his soul. The NBA stars participated in the slam dunk competition. We don't see that anymore. That's not the case anymore. And I hate the fact that LeBron James has never participated in a slam dunk competition. As great as LeBron James is, and we know he is great, four-time NBA champion, four-time NBA finals MVP, 
four-time regular season NBA MVP and a great, great ambassador for the NBA on and off the floor. The one knock I have against LeBron is him never participating in the slam dunk competition. Never. Not one time. I just wish LeBron would have did it one time. Just one time. I want to see LeBron in the slam dunk competition. And I believe that if LeBron participates in the slam dunk competition, I believe there are other stars who would have followed LeBron James's lead and participated in the slam dunk competition. But uh, the NBA All-Star Weekend used to be about stars, and now it, it, it'd be players who win the slam dunk contest who you don't even know anything about. You don't even know who these guys are. So that's my thoughts on NBA All-Star Weekend. Shout out to Jason Tatum, though, winning NBA All-Star Game MVP. I hope he can win another trophy at the end of the season. That's NBA Finals MVP, perhaps. But he had he had a great performance in the All-Star game, for, for sure. And shout-out to Damian Lillard as well. He won a three-point shooting contest. Two of my favorite players in the NBA. Everybody, go and follow Wise Guys on Twitter at WiseGuys underscore H. Also on Facebook, Wise Guys. And we should have followed Wise Guys at Instagram at These Guys Know Sports.